Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here, and today I'm super excited to share with you five things that you must have in your handbag for it to stay organized. So let's get started. So friends, do you struggle with keeping your handbag organized? If, you, if so, you can check out my other handbag videos. You guys know I love sharing handbag tips and I have several videos on my channel over the years where I share my tips and I will put the playlist actually in the description box below for you. And also, if you haven't got my first book that I wrote a couple years back, Beautifully Organized, I do share with you handbag organization tips in this video. So you definitely want to check that out. And I'll link the, um, my book down below where you can get it. You can get it all places, books are sold. Um, but I will put some links in the description box below for you. So I wanted to just give you a little resource before we jumped into the kind of nitty gritty of my bag. So friends, many of you may notice that I have a new bag and you um, know my handbags, a lot of you know my handbags just as well as I do. And you also know that I'm a girl that I, do, I don't like paying a tremendous amount of money for a handbag. I think that there's so many beautiful bags on the market. Um, I am a coach girl, I love coach because I think you can get an excellent bag at a, a great price. And oftentimes I like to go to the coach outlet to get the bags. Um, so there's just so many options. But um, as you know, a LV bag is definitely on um, a little bit of a high in for my for me you know a lot of you it's nothing for you but for me um, it is and so um, what I do is I, every time that you know I have three books out now so every time I get one of my royalty payments um, from my books I buy one thing one luxury thing for myself and so it's just a great way to just reward myself for the hard work that I put into writing my books and to celebrate uh, my accomplishments and so it's I wanted to do something that was out of the norm because the norm would be to go to TJ Maxx and get a bag or to go um, to coach and get a bag but I said you know what I'm going to celebrate my successes every time something uh, comes in from that and get myself one thing and so I say that to say that this um, or probably a couple months ago this was uh, the, the the thing of choice to celebrate my accomplishment and it is the mm of the lv never full and the reason why i chose this is because i wanted something that i could use as not only a handbag but when i wanted to transition and use it as a handbag slash work bag it would work and i have to tell you that it has been working beautifully um, i know this is a bag that's been out a while in their line and it's very popular a lot of folks have this and so I had uh, plenty of opportunity to watch several videos on the bag just to gauge if that's the style that I wanted before I actually went in store and got it uh, the thing that I love about it is that um, the interior I got it in the peony co color and it's absolutely beautiful you all know that I'm tend to be more of a, a black accessories kind of gal. I love my kind of black accessories because I think they're, they're just very professional and chic and they go with anything. It also makes gold hardware on a bag pop out when you have like a black handbag. So again, I wanted to go with a bag, you know, the one that had just a nice, bright, fun color because this is a celebration of an accomplishment. And so I was really happy with the color choice. So what I want to share with you today that's a little different than, and, and not necessarily that is, well, I guess it's kind of different than how I have shared with you in the past. For many of you who know me, I've always shared with you when you're organizing your handbag to create compartments within your bag. Same concept here, but the difference is I want today I want to share you those um, kind of things and essentials to help kind of keep it organized. So one thing that I knew with this bag, and I'm going to try to grab it out of here um, now, is I knew that having an insert would be the way to go. Now I could easily use my same technique that I've shared over the years of having different little makeup bags and zip bags to create compartments in the bag and put them in there. But I thought how more efficient would a actual handbag organizer be um, in this bag? Because when you look at the Neverfulls, even the big one, the, I think it's the GM, they're huge and see it's a lot of open space. So um, whether it's an LV or any type of tote bag, having a bag organizer is a great, great tool to help stabilize 
size your bag and to give you those different compartments that you need. So what I chose is instead of having a lot of little zip bags, I would get one source, which is here, and then still use the same concept of being able to line my things up in here because the key with keeping an organized bag is being able to just look down in your bag and grab what you need. If you're having to fiddle, that is not the most efficient way to do it. Now, one thing for me was important is that the liner of my bag, the, the actual insert, matched the interior of the bag. And so I did a lot of research to find this specific um, in this color that matches to the T, matches the bag. And I will put it in the link in the description box below if you have the peony color. Um, interior i also i believe um, this brand has the red and the black and so it's really great great quality i also want to make some you know wanted to pick something that had the sections that i needed and so i wanted to take you through and show you how easy it is to just kind of organize your bag simply um, the other thing i will say is that um, just like in everything i share your handbag should always match your lifestyle so for me uh, my lifestyle is different than it was five years ago, 10 years ago. So I don't necessarily keep or need to keep the same things in my handbag. And so you wanna be sure that you don't have this as a drop station, but more as an efficient tool when you're out and about. So now let's jump into those five things that I told you were so important to have in your bag. One I did share with you, and that is that insert so that you have the, you know, the inside of your bag built. It's like the base um, of your bag. The second thing is a somewhere to hold receipts. Now what I love about this bag is it came with this additional um, zip bag, which is perfect for receipts. One thing that I will say is keep something that's flat because you don't want a big zip um, makeup bag just for receipts. It's just it's just too bulky, it's gonna take up space. But this is so thin and perfect, and if you can find something that's really thin, it really just can sit down in here. And when you're out and about, it's easy to, you don't even have to take it out of the bag, you can just unzip it, throw your receipts in there. Now what I love about this one in particularly is because it has the two sections here, I'm able to put receipts that, um, when I'm out and shopping or at a restaurant, I'm able to put my receipts in one side, and then the other side can be saved for receipts that I use if I'm returning anything. So if say I have um, a dress or something that I need to return, I can always keep return receipts on one side and then keep just um, everyday shopping, all those receipts on the other side. It's a quick little way to have a receipt sorter in your handbag. The next essential for your handbag is a handbag light. And I know a lot of people don't necessarily keep a handbag light in your um, bag, but I tell you, um, once I started with these things, I'm in love with them. So the great thing about a handbag light is that it allows you to be able to see everything in your bag when lighting is not the great. You're in a dark restaurant or you're traveling at night or you know, you're able to really see in your bag without rumbling around so much, you know, you still have the same effect. And the great thing about it is the one I have, and I'll, again, I'll link it in the description box below. It's so compact, you throw it in the bottom of your bag, you don't even know it's there. But then when you go to ramble around in your bag, it automatically motion detects and will turn on. And so it's nice to have um, that little feature in there, you don't realize it until you really are in the situation, you're in dark and you're trying to get through your bag. Um, the other thing is when you have a bag like this that is really kind of a tote bag and just larger, you especially want to have some type of light in there so that you can easily um, see in your bag when you need to. Another must have for your handbag is list, somewhere to keep your list. Because when we're out and about, we always have our list, whether it's our shopping list, or whether it's our um, list of things that we need to get done in the day. And so, you know, you always wanna have that place where you can write things down. You may run into someone and need to write something down for them. And so, um, one thing that I also did get with my, you know, um, little get up here, is I got the um, small LV planner, that, but I use it as my wallet. And so, of course, in your wallet, in your, in your handbag, most of you are going to have that wallet. And so what I like to do is just combine the two. So instead of having to have a wallet and a list, have one um, little mini planner, and you can get these pocket planners. It doesn't have to be LV. You can get pocket planners um, all day long. I'll put some resources down below. Um, especially you can get them in black and the colors that match your bag. And then ha in there, you can have your sheets or your list in there. And that way it's right there with your wallet. Um, another thing that a friend um, I had not been doing, I had not been, I had set up my digital wallet but not fully, and, and so I really don't use it. I'm so old school that when I go to the store, I'm already 
I'll, I'll, you know, I always think to pull out my card. That's just how I'm coming, you know, I'm just, that's just how I am. Um, but she is really bringing me over to this other side of having a di di digital wallet. I can see the importance of that. And it is um, really efficient if you don't want to have to carry around a wallet. She was telling me I need to go in and add all of like my um, discount cards from stores, Sephora card, Ulta card, Barnes and Noble cards, all those little um, cards that you have from the stores. You know, I always um, don't like, you know, bulking up my wallet with those things, but oftentimes I felt like I had to, because if I'm out and about, I want to, you know, use it. But the great thing is with the digital wallet, you can put all of those cards on your digital wallet right there on your phone so you never have to bulk up your wallet. So that's a great way to really streamline the things that you physically have to carry on you. So the next thing that you need in your handbag, a must have to keep it organized, is a trash bin. And of course, you don't wanna put a full trash bin in your bag, but what you can do is create a purse friendly trash bin. And how you do that is simply to get a little zip pouch, something very small, very thin, but something where you can put all that trash that you gather um, as you're out and about. You know, you get a straw and you have a piece of paper on there, you eat a piece of gum, you have that, you know, the wrapper. Um, there's all kinds of things that when you go in your purse, go in your purse right now and pull it out and all that trash that's in there now, to go right in here and that really preserves your handbag and keeps it organized and keeps it from getting all of that kind of just uck stuff in it. So just a little zip bag and have that serve as your trash bag for your handbag. So the key for me is when I look at my bag, I want to be able to look down and grab everything that I have in here. So I want to give you a quick look just so that you can see what I actually keep in my bag because we all, you know, we love that what's in your handbag video to kind of see what folks carry in their bag. So for me, I have, I love this organizer because I love that it has the pockets that are my categories. And so I have a category here where I keep all of my pins. I have that stuck down in here. Of course, I showed you I have my receipts um, bag and also my trash bag. In the other three pockets here, I have my lotion. I'm not a girl that needs to take makeup and a perfume and a lot of that anymore on the go. Usually when I'm going low key life, I just have my lotion, definitely have to take that with me. I have my um, charger. I just have that plugged in, I mean not plugged in, I have that just tucked there, easy to get to. And then I have one slot that I keep for my earrings. Um, a lot of times when I have jewelry and I'm out and about, and I get tired of it. I'm in a restaurant or something, I wanna rip it off. I have a slot where I can just tuck the jewelry, that way I won't lose it and I know where it's at. Now in the center zipper part here, this is where I tuck my wallet because I want it to be secure and hidden. So I keep that in the center there and keep that zipped up, but I always know where it's at. So when I go in the store that it's easy. And then of course I have my two phones, my work phone and my personal phone and I have them right side by side. It makes it easy um, to get to those when I need, just kind of pull out and go. And then I have this open slot here that I use depending on where I go. And I love having this here because right now, you see I have my Bible in here because Sunday, it was yesterday. And so when I go to church, I have my Bible that I just slip in here on Sundays. And then um, if I'm going out and I need to take my planner, I can slip my planner in there. Um, sometimes I'm going somewhere where I'm gonna read a book, I slip my book. So this is kind of where that interchangeable space where I can put whatever I need to take with me goes right in that slot right there. And then I have a slot here for my um, AirPods because I want it easy when my friend girl calls me, I need to throw them in. It's right here, easy in the pocket. And then on the back pockets here is where I have my keys so that it's easy to grab and go. And so that's it friends. That's kind of basically what I keep in my handbag now. And it's just really efficient. The other great thing about having the insert to go in your bag when you want to change change out your bags is so easy because all you do is you simply, if you're a tote bag girl, you simply can pull this out. It has all the contents of your bag in it and then drop it into the other bag that you want to start carrying. So you don't have to unload and unpack a bag. And I do want to also say what's great about this specific bag organizer that I got is that you can customize it. Like if you don't want that middle insert, it's Velcroed on the side so you can pull it out and just streamline the organization. So definitely check out the one because I did a lot of research. There's a lot of handbag organizers out there. Some are not so good and some are, but this I am extremely happy with. 
So friends, I hope that you have enjoyed the tips that I shared with you on the five must haves that you need to keep your handbag organized. Again, I have all of those in uh, the description box below. Also along with my book with more additional handbag tips. So definitely check that out. I also want to remind you that I am live on Amazon every single Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, a lot of my friends, you guys come over there. We call ourselves the friend girls and we just talk. We talk things handbag, we talk things home. And so it's a great way to just connect live, um, you and I. So I will put the link to that below. But if you want to get to it easily, it's at home with Nikki dot live that will take you there. And all of my replay lives are there now. So if you want to go to kind of check it out to see, um, you know, if you want to join in on the upcoming Friday. So friends, have a beautiful day. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.